Electronic Yodeling Pickle. Hey guys, this is Austin, and welcome to yet another Ken Torments Me With Terrible Products video. This time where I'm apparently looking at pickles. <laughs> electronic Yodeling Pickle. Yodelehi oo, says the pickle. Should I ask how much this was? Eleven. $11. Much better than I was expecting. All right, let's see what we get with our accoutrements pickle. This is a very detailed looking pickle. The Odin Seraphim, world's first projection mouse? Ken, you do realize that I actually had ordered one of these already, right? Not even kidding. This is actually a product I wanted to do a video on anyway. How much was this? $69. 70 bucks. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. <clears throat> $69. I have to be very correct on my, uh, my pricing here. I've got to say, after the last one where I was wearing a pink suit at this point in the video, much happier with my laser mouse. Oh, yo, it totally works. Look at this. So if I swipe it with it, it actually is totally possible. And if I click, whoa, that actually kind of works. I mean, it's not the greatest tracking surface in the world, but that's a laser mouse. Well, I think more specifically a laser trackpad, but still that actually is really cool. You know what? I mean, if I actually move a little bit more quickly with this, it's pretty responsive. I mean, it's a little bit inaccurate, I think, but I mean, that doesn't feel terrible. Oh, even tap to click works? Dude, this is like a legitimate trackpad that just happens to be a laser. Next item, please. You did not. So for those who are not in the know, a little while ago, this Super Mario puzzle came out. And what was so special about it is that because it's all red, it's basically impossible to actually put together. Puzzles are educational, challenging, and fun. Yeah, challenging and fun when it's literally impossible to put together. Oh boy, that's it's quite the bag. So with a thousand pieces on board, you know this is gonna be a fun time for all ages. Look at these pieces. They're all the exact same. They just have a little bit of a texture on them. Uh, why, why would anyone want to do this? I honestly think that, uh, this is the extent of how uh, how much this puzzle is gonna be put together. All right, moving on. All right, I'm afraid to ask, what's next? The Blackberry Leap? How much was this? $75. $75 for a Blackberry. Okay, not exactly what I expected. Starting Blackberry 10 OS. Okay, so it's actually like a legit original Blackberry. I mean, the hardware is not bad. I kind of like the sort of rubberized finish on the back. It's got a headphone jack, hard to argue with that. That's a rare commodity these days, as well as a pretty impressive eight megapixel autofocus camera on the back. I gotta say, those bezels are straight out of 2015. Man, that looks very bizarre these days. So we are now inside BlackBerry 10 OS, and I will say this actually is aged pretty well. I mean, sure, the app support is, well, minimal at this point, but the actual sort of interface, how smooth everything is, it actually doesn't feel too far behind. If only, you know, Android wasn't a thing. But of course, with an eight megapixel camera, we're probably dealing with some crispy images. Wow, that's a lot of shutter lag. Actually, you know what? That's not that bad. All right. The real test is going to be the selfie though. Oh, uh, that's a little bit colorful, but I'll give that a pass. I'm curious, do you know how much this was when it was brand new? $275. Well, I mean, if you look at it like that, this is a relative bargain at only $75 today. Of course, you're gonna have to deal with BlackBerry 10 OS, which is basically dead. But I mean, besides that, the Edifier P841. All right, been a while since I've taken a look at a new pair of headphones. This actually looks like a kind of reasonable and not stupid thing to take a look at. Well, at first glance, they're actually a little lightweight, maybe a little more lightweight than I'd like. But of course, that's not the only thing that matters. I mean, certain headphones will put weights in their headphones just to make them feel more hefty. So, you know, all right. I mean, they passed the Hotel California test. Now, the soundstage isn't exactly super wide, which isn't really a big surprise. And there's not a ton of clarity there. I think there's definitely a little bit more bass than I would like, but they sound decent. Um, for $65 though, I would probably lean toward the status CB1s, which if you guys have watched my videos, you'll know that I've recommended many, many times. I'm excited, what do we have? 
Frentos? What? Well, this is very Japanese. Ken, did you get this in Japan? So the entire box is basically in Japanese. Um, it looks like something that you put your phone in and then a picture comes out, maybe? I'm very confused. I'm just thinking in my head right now, right? At what point would I want to scan my screen and print it versus just, you know, transfer a photo to a printer? I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna see if this thing works. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't a scanner. This has like actual like film inside, doesn't it? Instax. It has Instax film inside? Wait, 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 wait. So you put your phone on here. You take a picture of the screen and it will print out on Instax film, I guess. So it's not even a printer, it's just a camera that takes pictures of your phone screen. One pack of minion themed Instax film later. Let's actually see if we can get this thing to work. Oh, look at this. That looks much more realistic and reasonable. So the real test is what am I going to print? All right, here goes nothing. Is that it? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's blank right now. That's fine. Just let it sort of bake here for a second. Develop is what uh, the cool kids call it. And hopefully we see a picture of something. You know what? That's actually not that bad. I mean, yeah, it's in stack, so it's not going to look just quite as crystal clear as this wonderful pixel photo that I have here. One thing I will say is that even though they say to crank your phone up to max brightness, especially if you have a newer smartphone, it actually might be a little too much. So I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit for the next one. All right, shot number two. This is obviously a toy. It's not like some super high-end printer, but I will say it's actually kind of cool. I mean, stuff like Instax is really fun anyway. And the idea that you can print photos on your phone instead of just taking shots on a camera and hoping it works, I can see this being something that a lot of people could be into. So as always, links to check out all this stuff, including the print toss will be in the description. And I'm curious, what do you guys think about Ken's picks on this one? I gotta say, I'm not in a bunny suit, so I'm not complaining. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one.